everyone, I'm Mike Quackenbush, your Director of Fun. And today, for Free Match Monday, let's head to North Carolina to Out on a Limb and watch Chuck Taylor take on Trevor Lee. Carson being joined at the commentation station, Gavin Loudspeaker, and we have got a dandy of a singles match up here. Here we go. Yeah, they say nobody does it like the Kentucky gentleman, but I think nobody does it like Trevor Lee. His mother Sarah in attendance this evening. No, very rich woman. <laughs> High in caloric intake. Now, you would announce Trevor Lee as the Carolina Caveman, is that correct? The Carolina Caveman, as if you were wondering if there was more than one. Trevor Lee carrying that moniker all around North Carolina. And, uh, yeah, I gotta say, um, he's looking primitive. Looking pretty primitive tonight. Well, listen, he's a very basic individual uh, in his look, I guess. You know, the long hair, maybe a little chest hair. Looks like a man to me. He doesn't, he's not wearing anything fancy. He's not doing anything fancy with his hair. No, but I'll tell you this, uh, Gavin. One of the uh, premier up-and-coming talents in all the world of professional wrestling is Trevor Lee. Had a great 2014, has traveled all over the United States. And uh, he is certainly going to be tested here in what is absolutely a first-time encounter here in Chikara as he takes on the road-tested and uh, weary Chuck Taylor. Yeah, it's one of the great things about it. Being on tour with Shakara, we get to come to all these different towns, and we get to see the best talent all over the country. So we got right here in Trevor Lee, and let me tell you something, Chuck Taylor, no stranger to taking on the best in the country. No, certainly not. Just uh, about a month or so ago, he cashed in his three points, jumping the line, if you will, if you ask Eddie Gink, you know I do. Uh, getting his shot at Icarus, uh, hopefully had a new start in South Philadelphia. Are you saying he was jumping, he was jumping the line? Yes, oh, okay. okay, I believe you. <laughs> Trevor Lee now, trying to get a hold of, of, of Chuck Taylor, who can be darn right elusive when he wants to be. No, Chuck Taylor sometimes uh, can have a good time at his opponent's expense, sometimes maybe even at the fans' expense. Sometimes at his own expense. Sometimes at his own expense, but uh, Trevor Lee, what is he? Trevor Lee is a... He's a bit out of control. This Trevor Lee's a little out of control. He just went handle, handle over tea kettle. <laughs> and then, wow, head first into the ring apron uh, unceremoniously. Uh, he went from zero to 60 in about three seconds, and he crashed right into the edge of the ring there. Chuck Taylor over the opportunity of course. The harder than Earthquake does at Reckles back. Blame it the comedian. Get up. Get oh, up. Man. Off the hands. You're right, you're right. Out of the crowd. And now Chuck Taylor in control, using those wrist gauntlets to break the eyes of young Trevor Lee. And this is a young man, uh, very uh, fresh in his uh, experience, only a couple years under his belt here in the world of professional wrestling. This is a guy that about uh, five, six, seven, eight, ten years from now, you're going to see, uh, you know, as one of the perennial names in all of professional wrestling, that is, if he can escape tonight, the beating that is being put on him by Chuck Taylor. We try to make a name for himself right here in the CWN Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium, one of the historical venues in the professional wrestling world. Sure, historical, many, many historical things have happened in this, in this arena, including Tim Dodds taping me up and shoving me in a closet. I'm not a fan of that, uh, you know, whatever issues I have with him, but uh, I don't like anybody doing anything negative toward you. Nice underhook suplex there, covered in hook the leg. Trevor Lee very quickly getting out of that one and taking his shoulders off the canvas. He, he's bouncing back. He's resilient. You mentioned about here we are at the CW of Atlantic Arena and the memories that happen here. This is Trevor Lee's home turf. This is his home field advantage. And, uh, you know, maybe against another opponent that might give them some... Uh, some butterflies in the stomach, maybe a little bit of a worry, but I don't think Chuck Taylor worries about anything. Chuck Taylor, not a care in the world with that young man. Chuck Taylor has one attitude. He brings it to the ring every single time. However, Trevor Lee does have the support of his hometown here. And you know, there is nothing. 
nothing better than just having your hometown crowd cheering you on, especially when you've got a tough, experienced veteran like Chuck Taylor in the ring. Chuck Taylor looking for that patented moonsault. Trevor Lee ready for it, got out of the way. This is the opportunity he needs, goes for a big kick. The body scissors there. It goes big. Look at that. That was amazing. Yeah, that was amazing. You know, when I say Chuck Taylor is a veteran, when I say he's a veteran, I mean in experience only. He's a, still a young man. Chuck Taylor is the leg. They started wrestling, I think it was like 14 or 15. I don't think they have any laws in Kentucky when it comes to no, that sort of thing. No, despite, despite his many years of ring experience, Chuck Taylor, his best days are yet to come. Trevor Lee and his quick burst of offense in the off onset of this match, but since then, since careening out of the ring and into the apron on the outside, this match has been all Chuck Taylor. Hasn't been the same since that moment, I gotta say. Here the, uh, Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium in, 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 in Mid-Atlantic tradition, we start at 7 I certainly hope so. Main event time, baby. Get a little, uh, get a little uh, Tony and Dusty out here, and we'll be all set. I'm, I'm Dusty. Oh, no, no. They, they, they keep this place in tip-top shape. Look, I'm running my finger across this. It's as clean as a whistle. No dust in sight. Look out! Trevor Lee off the top rope! Looking for a stop there. Chuck Taylor, right there to catch that foot. Wow, that was a shot to the midsection. That'll make you lose your lunge in a heartbeat. Just caught him right in the ribs with that thrust kick. But Trevor Lee now coming out with some explosive late offense here in the match. Sure, trying to build some offense, trying to build some momentum here. Chuck Taylor, no slouch in there. Gets kicked right underneath the chin. Got right in the first bone, I think. Rumsburg's senior official and cookout historian there with the call says so only two and that elbow devastating Chuck Taylor looks like he is done messing around if he was messing around in the first place oh, look at that look at that a devastating knee Trevor Lee though with a right hand punch him right in the nose right in the proboscis and now these two are trading the leather trading the shots no quarter given and none asked Trying to get up ahead of Steve here, but look at that. Chuck Taylor, double stop to the back of the net. Slow to cover though, you gotta think those shots from Trevor Lee taking a lot out of Chuck Taylor. Taylor definitely, definitely a step behind here. And both men have taken tremendous punishment here. But it's Chuck Taylor on his feet right now. Could be going for the awful waffle here to finish things off, but you see here, Trevor Lee cinching in the side of headlock, widening his base, not allowing Chuck Taylor to get him up. Series of shots to the back of the head. Now Chuck Taylor going over the back. Trevor Lee. Trevor Lee just using that inner passion that he has to fight free as Chuck Taylor pounds on him to keep him down. And a kick. Got him right inside the head. Takes it back. Almost three. Snap on the German suplex. Perfect bridge. We got a lot of guys here in Chikora with that perfect picture. Perfect German suplex. Ashley Remington. Juan Francisco de Coronado. That, that, now Trevor Lee adding his name that, to the list. That was right up there with any of them. Trevor Lee now in the corner, in control! Chuck Taylor with his textbook dropkick, one of the best looking dropkicks in all of wrestling, I don't care what anyone says. That's soul food, right to the side of the jaw. Sends uh, Trevor Lee careening. All the way around! You cannot cross body Trevor Lee, Gavin, you just can! He tried! He spun him around so fast! He spun him around so fast it was like a mid- It was like a mid-air power slam! Using his own momentum, snapping his opponent over out of the crossbody. Now Trevor Lee, this is the opportunity he needs. A victory over 
Chuck Taylor here in Shakara, in his home, in his home building. This is quite the feather in his cap, but he's got to stand his man here, Chuck, with the charge. Kentucky gentlemen, power bombs his man down. Trevor Lee's in trouble. Chuck Taylor, awful waffle in the center of the ring. Hooks the ring, that's two. He got him. Fantastic matchup here between both men. Both men have had a lot taken out of them. You don't see Chuck Taylor getting to his feet very quickly here. Now asking for Bryce to raise his hand, but what you do see is every single person here in this building on their feet, giving both these men a standing ovation. I hope you enjoyed that match from one of last season's stops in Gibsonville, North Carolina. And we're only coming to Gibsonville, North Carolina one time in season 16, and it's just a couple weeks away. So make sure you grab your tickets, whether it's for a 2 p.m. or our 7 p.m. event at the new Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. And then come back here next Monday and join me for another free match right here on Podcast and Go-Go.